ESPN's presentation of Thursday Night Primetime College Football is brought to you by Priority Mail from the U.S. Postal Service. By Circuit City, answers in every department, low prices all over the store. And by AMD Athlon, the world's fastest PC processor. They're separated by a couple of hours and 120 miles. These rivals from the front range, both six and three, they play in a must-win rivalry game tonight. We welcome you to the start of the college football weekend, Thursday Night Football. Dr. Jerry Punch in a minute, Mike Tirico, Lee Corso, Kirk Herbstreit. A rivalry's on their own. No matter what the records, they stand the test of time. But this one has a little extra spice. The winner keeps alive bowl hopes. And if you like old-fashioned football, we've got one for you tonight. Air Force is the best rushing team in the nation. Colorado State is Kevin McDougal, the leading rusher in this conference league. Well, Mike, somebody asked me if I was still coaching. I would I defense Colorado State. I said simply, stop number 36, Kevin McDougal. Why? He's the leader of the offense. He's a three-year starter. He's the fifth leading rusher in state football history. He's 6'2", 205, got excellent speed. And I'll tell you another thing about the kid. He ran a 59-yard touchdown run against Colorado. And i tell you the thing I like about him the most is he tough. Colorado State, when they can run the football, they can play action, makes them extremely tough to stop. Well, I think the best way to slow down Kev McDougal and that Ram offense is to keep Kev McDougal on the sideline. And the way you do that for Air Force is you have to control the clock. They lead the nation with the best rushing offense in all of college football. And they finally have a quarterback quarterback beginning to insert himself as a triggerman of this option attack. Mike Thiessen has done a great job when given an opportunity to perform. Last week he had a sensational game coming in against UNLV. He leads the Falcons in rushing offense, which is very, very important at that quarterback position in this option attack. Now, if Thiessen can play well and the Falcons can run the ball, it'll not only keep Kevin McDougal on the sideline, but more importantly, Dr. Jerry Punch, it will slow down that attacking Ram defense. Exactly, Kirk. And if you're the star a very multiple threat Air Force option attack. You have got to be disciplined, which means you've got to be experienced in a couple of key spots on your defense. Middle linebacker and defensive end. That bodes pretty well for Colorado State because arguably their two best defensive players play, guess where? Middle linebacker and defensive end. Number 42, Ula Tuatelli is the middle linebacker and record-setting defensive end Clark Hagens. Now, add to the fact they will be emotional tonight because this is senior night. Their last night to play a game here at Hughes Stadium. An emotional night, an aggressive night, as they told me moments ago, this one, Mike Tirico, will be a war. Well, Doc, as you see by the dust being blown up from the late arriving crowd, the winds are a significant factor. Steady at 25 miles per hour, gusting in the neighborhoods of 50 miles per hour. We had wind gusts over 70 here at Hughes Stadium earlier in the day. This is a wide open facility with nothing but the mountains, which will be behind us as you watch to protect this stadium and the winds are whipping through here down on the field hunting right to left will be very difficult as you watch the wind is left to right so that's the advantage side for tonight air force won the toss deferred the option to the second half colorado state will receive and they'll be going into the wind in the first quarter here is dave adams the long-legged strong kicker for Air Force. He'll probably knock it out of the back of the end zone. Six and three and six and three. The winner keeps bowl hopes alive. We're underway on Thursday Night Football in Fort Collins. Immediately a touchback. You will see a lot of those going left to right tonight. Here they are, the Home Depot starting points for Colorado State. Matt Newton is the quarterback approaching a 2,000-yard season. McDougal looks for 1,000 on the ground tonight. The wide receivers, Dallas Davis, a special team stud. Frank Rice, three touchdowns in the last game for Colorado State. The offensive line is big. Sapaia on the weak tackle spot. Borvansky in the middle. Two of the strengths. Opening drive for CSU from its own 20-yard line. McDougal, the lone back. Newton will go to the air right away. He intended for Dallas Davis to hit the ground and goes incomplete. Air Force on defense. Pretty good. Tough to score on. Tops in this conference defensively. Thomas Spolsky and Sakura up front. Guy to watch in the linebacking course 41. Craig Forstenson, after missing a couple of games, he's back in the lineup. Travis Meidinger, the outside linebacker, a good one as well. Sean Smog has an interception. He's one of the cornerbacks, along with Jones, Jackson, and Meadows are the safeties. 
It's a team secondary. No individual superstars for Air Force. Second and ten. It's Newton back to the air. He'll dump to the tight end, Ochoa. Jose Ochoa gains seven to the 27. Tony Jones pulled him down. We've seen quarterback Matt Newton now. This is our third time seeing him play. Each time out, he, he's appeared to get better and better and playing with more confidence, talking with Steve Fairchild, the offensive coordinator. They're very happy with what he's been able to do. As you can see, the completion percentage getting up, up to close to 60%. I like the call because it was a fake to McDougal, and it came out with a nice bootleg, nice safe play. It'll be third and three, needing to get to the 30-yard line for the first down. You see the first and 10 line in. Uh, try a reverse with Pete Redstock, the wide receiver, but Air Force disciplined as always. Corey Nelson helped make the play. Quickly a punt for Colorado State. So a nice opening drive job done by the Air Force defense. And Dion Horenic comes in an outstanding net punter. He's had a very, very good year. Colorado State's fifth in the country in net punting, but again, he will be punting into this 25-mile-per-hour win. Good rush on Horanek, and he got it away. Scott McKay will take it at the 22 on a knee, took a hit, and that will be a flag on Colorado State's Jasharlon Jones, a 55-yard punt. Jay Charlon hit the man while he had a knee on the ground. So that one's a little different than the halo rule that I like so much. <laughs> I wasn't even going to bring it up. I tell you what, I cannot believe that he kicked the ball 55 yards against this kind of a win. Yep. Mark it down. That's National Football League style right there. He's one of the best punters in the country. Right. Also, one of the best at pinning opponents deep in their own territory. Senior out of Atwood, Kansas. Dead ball. First to foul. Late hit on the kickers. 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic first down. So that'll give Air Force nice field position for Mike Thiessen, the quarterback that Kirk talked about earlier. The three backs, they'll see three fullbacks in there along with Rillos and McKay, the halfbacks. Receiving core Matt Farmer on the career top five list for Air Force offensively. He can really get out and make deep catches. So with the penalty, the drive will start from the 38. And the first toss of the game goes to Rillos. Matt, the senior at a Golden Colorado, with a gain of about four or five. That offensive line, Matt Dayock is a junior. Hildebrand, the other guard right next to Dayock, is a junior as well. The other three players are seniors. Norman, Charters, Roberts. Four Texans, with four Texans backing them up as well. So Texas has produced some fine offensive linemen for Air Force. Second and six for the junior out of Modesto, California, Mike Thiessen. The fullback is Tom Heyer, who got stopped by that Colorado State defense. To Atelli, the linebacker, led the charge. Mike McKenzie's on the bottom of the pile. He's along with Greg Pollard, Jamie Bennett, and Clark Higgins, the all-time sack leader at Colorado State that Jerry told you about. 42, the linebacker in the middle to Atelli. To Atelli has two freshmen on either side of him. And in the secondary, important night for the safeties. 28, Eric Olson. 38, John Howell, whose wife is expecting to give birth at any moment. Add to the subplots here tonight. It's a good thing we have Dr. Jerry Punch on the sideline, right? As he's in the stands. What did he tell us? 198 deliveries? Doc has delivered 198. Ready at a moment's notice. Needing to get to the 48 for a first down. Wind at their backs. Oh, big opening for the first down for a higher. Eric Olson and Tuatelli pulled him down, but too late. First down for Air Force. Actually, it was Nathan Beer. Check that, the fullback. Run the fullback here and talking to Larry Kerr, the defensive coordinator for Colorado State. He said the first thing we have to do is take the fullback out of the game. If you look at the triple option, you look at option attacks, it starts with the fullback. If, if, if Air Force can establish the fullback, it could be a long night for Colorado State. It's Matt Rillos this time. The halfback gets out on the edge. 
Terrence Gibson contributing to the hit with Tuatele. So you see the fullback, the halfback. Haven't seen the quarterback keep it yet, but they have been very balanced offensively in what they've been doing. Larry Kerr, the defensive coordinator, doesn't have one player necessarily to stop. Kirk, that's great balance in this offense. Well, they mix it up. That's one of the things over the years with Fisher to Barry here at the helm. You're going to see them try to establish the fullback early, but they like to get the quarterback on the corner. And that's the one thing that we've seen with Mike Thiessen throughout this season when he's had his opportunities is he's looking to keep the ball in the option right away. And when you look at the great option quarterbacks over the years, those are the ones that are dynamic. They look to keep, they force that defense to make it pitch it to the outside, and you'll see that tonight. This, this quarterback is very aggressive. Well, Fisher told us at 6 foot 195, Thiessen is really a running back disguised in the quarterback position. And that's why he likes him better running the football than Cale Bonds, the kid that started before. It was a first down for Thiessen. We're at the 37. A keeper this time. A good stick after about four yards. Justin Gallimore made the tackle. Well, the fishbone, Fisher DeBerry's version of the wishbone offense in the last few years, took off in the true wishbone form. DeBerry's arrival back 1984, 326 and a half yards they ran for. Very impressive. But look, they were number two in the nation, running for 386 yards in 87. They're number one in the nation now at 291 yards, about what 90 plus 95 yards less the reason that is is the west coast pass offense is now the thing to do that and also the defense is everybody's putting eight and nine people up in the box you have to throw you can't just run second and six the fullback nathan beard with the carry Beard's from grand junction colorado a lot of colorado players in this game and there is fisher in his 16th year the winningest coach in academy history hoping to take air force to an 11th bowl in his tenure one thing about Fisher DeBerry, he beat one of the greatest coaches of all time's record, Earl Red Bank, Blake at Army, 121 wins. That says it all right there. When you beat Earl Red Blake, you're some kind of football coach. The winningest coach ever at any of the service academies. Red Blake at Army had it until DeBerry reached 126 with the victory over Washington earlier this year. Third and a couple. Scotty McKay tried to turn the corner, but was brought down by John Howe. That's the one we told you whose wife is expecting at any moment. He delivered on third down. Third and short there, Colorado State deciding to get the safeties up very close to the line of scrimmage, almost a 4-4 look. And there, there was nobody there to pick up. John Howe, he's able to come up and make the play, short of the first. With the wind at their back, they'll try the 47-yard field goal with Jackson Whiting. Now, Whiting is usually the one who tries the shorter kicks, but with the wind at his back, 47 should be attainable. Career long is 44. Flags down. Whiting had the length, but obviously would have missed, and he hasn't missed a field goal this year. This one didn't count as an attempt. Dead ball, false start. Offense, by your penalty, remains fourth down. Now let's see if DeBerry uses his longer place kicker, David Adams. Well, that, that had the distance from 65 or 70. Mm -hmm. He killed that with that win. You know, one of the things that always bothered me as a coach is not the win behind the kicker, but the win with the center snapping the ball. The center is snapping the ball against the win and has a tendency to flutter a little bit. Now, here's the interesting thing. One's a lefty, one's a righty. So the holder has to spin around to the other side for the David Adams field goal. Keep your eye on the center snap and see if it doesn't wobble a little bit against that win. Matt Rillos will hold now on the other side of the world. This will be a 51-yard field goal attempt. Never got the laces turned around, as you saw, but it didn't matter. They'll credit him officially with a 52-yard field goal for the junior out of Fort Lauderdale, David Adams. His long of this year was 49. Mark him down for 52. And Air Force, with the wind at its back, strikes first. Fill your home with warm, attractive lighting from Hampton Bay. With a wide selection, you're sure to find the perfect lighting inside or outside. Available at the Home Depot. 
Mom, <laughs> Dad, a 37-year-old that lives at home should pay rent. It's great, oh, Mark. Yeah. But I want airline miles mm -hmm. or points. I don't understand. My rent would earn me airline miles. Mm -hmm. And with points, I could upgrade to, like, grandma's room. <laughs> like a rewards program. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Yeah, what does this look like, a Holiday Inn? <laughs> More ways to collect and redeem points than any other hotel program. That's today's Holiday Inn. With Dodge Neon's 132-horse, 16-valve overhead cam engine, new, more responsive transmission, and available 15-inch wheels and tires, you can have a ton of fun. Dodge Neon. Different. 10,750, 10,502, 9,502. <sighs> hmm. Ooh, 13,400. No, 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 6,780. If you can guess where the Dow will close at the end of the year, go to E-Trade for a chance to win a million dollars. One million. It's time for E-Trade. Contest ends November 28th. Thursday night primetime college football is brought to you by Dodge. Do not follow. Do not conform. Be different. And by E-Trade the number one place to invest online. Back in Fort Collins, Air Force scores first, a 3-0 lead on this windy night. North of Denver, Fisher DeBerry's team, a short drive in terms of yardage, but the long field goal from the strong-legged David Adams. Who blast another kickoff to the back of the end zone for a touchback. Or CSU offense will take over at the 20. Here's Dr. Jerry Punch. Guys, Air Force senior inside linebacker Craig Thorson was listed as doubtful last night in playing this football game because of a strained left adductor muscle against BYU. That is until they took delivery of this device last night at the hotel. A prototype hip brace. Basically, this brace, a rubberized neoprene girdle that he slips on. It has a belt buckle or a seat belt, if you will. They pull across the front of that to give it support and they wrap him with another Velcro wrap across that leg to keep it in position. If you go running for four yards to the 24, Jerry, so will that help prevent further aggravating the injury? Well, it's, it's not been used that much in sports, and that, that's what he's wearing now. I'm told that Yamir Yager wore that in the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs last year, and it worked very, very well for the same kind of injury. Now, he's okay running straight ahead, but when he tries to, to go left, or particularly to his right, when he tries to open his hips up and go to his right, he's going to have some discomfort. That will provide some degree, though, of support. We'll watch for that. Jerry did a very nice job modeling that as well. <laughs> Any holiday help at QVC, Jerry available at a moment's Where's notice. Where's Bob Parker? <laughs> Second and six, no room for McDougal at the end. He is stopped up. Good play by Charlie Jackson to finish him off after Matt Palmer, 52, from Boulder, Colorado, made the hit. This is what Dr. Punch was talking about here. Thorsten, Thorstenson doesn't look very quick getting to the outside. Not only have to take on a blocker, but also fighting that pain. And that in the was the uh, adductor. I thought you had it. Oh, you forget about it. <laughs> that looked like one of my old bathing suits that I used to wear. The Jerry's was showing up. You know the kind of... Yes, I do. Sure, yeah. sure. You and Bert out there hanging out? One of the things that's interesting now, but you can tell off offensively right now what Colorado Strait is trying to do is get the ball and bounce outside, and I promise you that's not good against an academy team that can run as well as these guys can. Well, injury for Colorado State. Sonny Lubick looks on concerned. We'll check out the injury after this timeout. Halfway through the opening quarter, Air Force on top. The new Dodge Neon is loaded with great stuff. 132 horse engine, four wheel independent suspension, even theater style lighting and a standard six speaker stereo. Perfect for those heavy dates. Dodge Neon, different. Dave Gardner! 
we've just routed a bullet train directly to your office. It'll be here in 20 seconds unless you pick the PC that'll reroute the train in time. Will you choose the PC with Intel Pentium 3 or the one with the new AMD Athlon processor? Many people don't know there's a faster PC processor than Pentium 3 at any clock speed. The new AMD Athlon processor. Now you chose wrong, Dave. Too bad you didn't know about the new AMD Athlon processor. <laughs> Why do I have Aflac insurance on top of my regular health insurance? Because he has his mother's eyes. Because I still have to teach him to whistle. And because Aflac helps cover what other insurance doesn't. If I'm injured, Aflac even provides cash to help pay bills. So why do I have Aflac? Did I mention he has his mother's eyes? Aflac supplemental insurance. Without it, no insurance is complete. Alabama Auburn, the Iron Bowl. This is as big as it gets in college football. Alabama Auburn at 7.30, Saturday on ESPN. Well, unfortunately, the injured player is still down. It's Corey Wolstenhume, one of the tight ends for Colorado State. Jerry Punch can tell us what's going on. Right side of your screen, 86, that is Wolston Hume. As you watch him trying to block there, circling on the right side of your screen. Now watch him. He will be hit with his neck and head down as he tries to hold off one of the Air Force defenders. Now he hit the ground and immediately rolled over. Now Fred Oglesby, who is the Air Force, I mean the Colorado State head trainer, is there with the young man, Corey Wolston Hume, as well as the, uh, the uh, Colorado State Orthopedic, there is Fred Oglesby there. They have gone to the ambulance in the end zone, and uh, they're going to bring a stretcher out. Now, what he said as he came by a moment ago is uh, he's complaining of some neck discomfort and some neck pain, so they're not going to take any chances. You see Sonny Lubick has walked over there to watch uh, the physicians now work uh, with Corey. He is awake and alert. He's just laying about five or six feet from where we're standing and able to talk to the physicians. He is not unconscious. There has been no loss of consciousness, but they're not going to take any chances, and I uh, applaud them for that. They're going to bring a stretcher out, and uh, be able to put a brace around his neck, put him on a stretcher, and take him down for x-rays. Once again, tight end, halfback, Corey Wolstenhume, the injured player. Mike? Jerry, former junior college All-America at Rick's Junior College in Idaho. So as they look at the H-back, uh, who's tight end size, really, and does the same type of things as a tight end does in their offense, but is classified an H-back in the uh, one-back Colorado State set. We talked so much about Wolstenhume earlier this season. The first time we saw Colorado State, when they played against BYU, very good friends with Rob Morris, BYU's outstanding linebacker. They were very good friends at childhood. So everyone on the Colorado State sidelines looks on with concern. They've seen their uh, share of injuries this year, but certainly this is more serious. Rick Kroll. Their outstanding linebacker had a rotator cuff injury. He's out. One of the seniors here on senior night, hoping to enjoy the festivities, but certainly that uh, has been muted for the moment with this injury. Let's go back down to Jerry. Guys, Sonny Lubick has been over talking to his young tight end and has gone over to his players to tell him that he is a, tell them that he is awake and alert. Obviously, a lot of concern down here on the Colorado State sidelines. As you take a look at the replay once again, now, most people tell you that it's very important to keep your head up, and they always say heads up, heads up whenever you're blocking or making a tackle because if your head goes down, then your neck is more subject to being injury. See, his, actually his head, his helmet got pushed down by the defender. He had his head up, but as the defender came along, his head came down, and that's probably why they had the concern, and that's why he was complaining of some pain in the base of his neck. Now, they have him out there, the uh, Fred Oglesby there with uh, Sonny Lubick and the Colorado State team getting ready very, very carefully. Here again, time is not important. They take as much time as they need to put a brace around him and pick him up, put him on the stretcher, take him to the ambulance and get him x-rayed. All right, Jerry, so while they take their time as much as they want to to best care for Corey Wollstenhume, the H-back will step out for a moment. In deep the table. And this team is well chosen by Chris Ford.
if you were a new luxury car, how would you stand apart from the rest? Would you have the most powerful V6 in your class? Or the largest interior? Maybe you'd offer amenities you couldn't find anywhere else. Imagine how special you'd be if you could claim all of them. Presenting the all-new Infiniti i30. It's all the best thinking. Now managing all of your finances is easier than ever with America Online. Personal finance on AOL is wonderful if you want to look up your stocks. I do my banking, I pay my bills, I check my investments. More people do their finances on AOL than anywhere. If you want to buy stock on AOL, you can choose from one of the four leading online brokers with a click of a button. AOL makes investing easy, safe, and secure. I've taken back control of my money. Take control of your finances with America Online. Call 1-800-4-ONLINE and sign up today. Rivalry and rivalry weekend continues. What's become a ESPN tradition. Late in November, Alabama Auburn, the Iron Bowl, in the plains of Alabama. That comes up Saturday here on ESPN. We apologize for some audio glitches on this very windy night here in Fort Collins. We have that all straightened out. As you see, Corey Wolstenhume, who has suffered a neck injury of some sort. And the medical staff has taken as much time as needed to take the best care of Wolstenhume, and certainly he'll go off to the X-raid. And we can only hope and pray that Corey is okay. As Sonny Lubick was telling his players, and Jerry Punch reported, alert and conscious. Just out there blocking the H-back. Always one of the toughest things to deal with in football for everyone, fans and players and coaches. Hard to go on and carry on like everything is normal after the next play, but what you can do is pray that everything is okay with Wollstone here. From a player's perspective, it's it's very tough because it's your thoughts and, and, your, and your concerns are with your 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 buddy and your teammate and on the other hand you still have three and a half quarters of, of football to still try to go out and and try to take care of business so that is uh, I think a lot of players that have played the game have been in that that predicament and, and the, t the toughest thing to do is try to try to block that out and play the game Jerry go ahead guys I'm down on the uh, Colorado State sideline with the orthopedic surgeon Dr. Rocky Trumper and Dr. Trumper give us a uh, uh, your evaluation thus far on Corey well Corey has a uh, neck injury He's got some numbness in his left arm, so we're going to take him in for some precautionary x-rays. But he was awake and alert and talking to you. He's awake and alert and doesn't have a head injury at all. Um, his biggest problem is his neck pain and his numbness in his left arm. Okay, we'll look forward to hearing back from you. Thanks, Doc. Thanks. Rocky Trump for giving us the good news. The numbness localized only to the left upper arm. No legs, no right side at all. They'll get an x-ray. They're going to let us know as soon as they get something back on Corey Wolston here. Mike? Okay, Jerry, thank you. That's wonderful news. We hope it continues in the same vein. Corey is married i'm sure his uh, wife and she's not here in the stands is watching with concern and as are all his players our th thoughts are with corey and as soon as we find out anything from the colorado state folks will pass it along the play he was injured on was a run by kevin mcdougall that picked up a couple it sets up third and five for the rams as we get back underway the quarterback matt newton to throw and it is caught by dallas davis who gets out to the 39-yard line and picks up a first down. That's 14 yards. And notice Dallas Davis, the best thing about this situation is he drives the man deep, but Kirk, watch the way he catches with his hands. That is impressive on a night like this. It makes a pretty good move after him. Yeah, he did a good job getting upfield after he made the catch. Finds a little bit of a seam, picks up another 10 yards. He has great quickness. We remember last time we were here against Utah. He can make great, a lot of great plays for him. Two great punt returns for touchdown. With Wolston Hume out, Leon Smith is the H-back who's in motion. And Newton fires down the middle, and incomplete, but a marker comes in. The receiver's progress was impeded. Air Force, which does not pick up many penalties, gets one there. 
In fact, the, by yardage wise, they're the least penalized football team in the Mountain West Conference. Which Does that is, surprise you? Which is every, every year. Almost, sign of you know? well coached football yep. team and discipline. Yeah. Fisher's trying to say that can't be pass interference because it was so high it was uncatchable. 15 yards from the previous spot. Automatic first down. But the man whose opinion matters says no. Well, Matt Newton, the junior out of Inglewood, Colorado, he's completed about 59% of his passes this year, moving up on 2,000 passing yards, and has improved steadily as the year has gone on. Well, he continues to improve, and he's two different quarterbacks. When, when they give him time to throw and it allows him to step into his target, he has a big arm. When he throws off that back foot, like a lot of quarterbacks, the ball tends to flutter. From the Air Force 46, maybe looking long here. Air Force has good coverage. Newton fires into it anyway, and it's incomplete. Could have been intercepted by Sean Smog, the strong side corner out of Broomfield, Colorado. And you notice who they went to, that speedster we've liked since the first time we've seen him, Frank Rice, the junior college player. He had three touchdowns against UNLV last week, two pass receptions, and also one reverse. I've liked him since the first time we've seen him, Kirk. Great, great speedster, speed. had a great game last week, got out a couple times. One of the things that uh, Steve Fairchild, the offense coordinator, went to, I think he went maybe a little bit early there, trying to go over top, but getting the defense to bite up on Kevin McDougal. You have to establish him a little bit more and then try to go over the top with a play-action pass. Second and 10, McDougal keeps it this time to the 42-yard line. A misdirection look. Matt Palmer and Thorstensen over there at top to tackle. Air Force has a very unique scheme defensively. They're going to attack you. They're going to have a lot of zone blitzing. But what's different about their scheme is they're not going to leave themselves vulnerable to the outside. They don't feel they have blazers at cornerback, both guys in a 4-6 range. So because of that, they'll play a cover three, kind of an umbrella shell to prevent the big play in the one-on-one -on -one matchup. But they do come up with a variety of different zone blitzes. And it works. They are tough to score on. 11th in the nation scoring defense. 35 throw is back to a first down by Pete Redstock, who takes it to the 10. 32 yards. First and goal for the Rams. We talked about the zone blitz. That time, Air Force came with a, a number of people. Great job by Colorado State of picking up the blitz. That's what I'm talking about with Matt Newton. When you give him that time, he can throw the ball in there with great accuracy. Repstot's only 5'9", 190. He makes a nice move in a post route, and then after that, covers the ball up. I like that. The reason I like that play most is because you said Matt Newton followed through and really do it, and you have to do that against the win. Yep. They can just barely pick up a first down. Ball just shy of the 10, Jay Charlotte Jones, the boot man. And McDougal up the gut to the three. Hard nose running from the senior Kevin McDougal playing his final home game here at Hughes Stadium tonight. Colorado State's been inside the 20 in the red zone 22 times and scored 20, 16 touchdowns. And this is one of the reasons why McDougal's got enough strength to run it right in there, Kirk. I like the fact that they go for touchdowns and not those old field goals all the time. <laughs> and the offensive line, how about, their, how about the push at the point of attack? Yeah. Nice job up front. David Schoen, right tackle, right guard, did a nice job. Three for the first down, three and a half for the touchdown to take the lead. They'll try McDougal. Nothing doing. John Spolsky, the senior out of Redford, Michigan, made the play off the nose. Now, this is the time, and I'm first guessing. Not okay, second guess. Right, right, you we fake, go. We you go. fake McDougal and run a bootleg at you with those tight ends crossing. Like the reason why you do that is they're now flowing very fast and quick to McDougal, Kirk. Like and you it. come back with that. You like that? I like that. I like that. As the first first guess of the night, right? That's right. Do you four, get one for quarter? First you get guess. Many as no you want. I got no the limit. mic class. Yeah. <laughs> There's no limit. <laughs> no limit. Thank the McDougal and cross people. I like it. Dallas Davis at the bottom of your screen. There's the fake. Newton looking. Good coverage. Tries to keep it. Tries to run it. No signal yet. Remember, they can get a first down right about where he is. Touchdown! The 
it's exactly what we talked about. He faked the McDougal, frees the linebackers, he brought the tight end across, but as the tight end comes across, is covered. He makes a nice run, Kirk. 6'3", 215, runs it pretty good. You can see Matt Newton is just beginning to become more of a complete quarterback there. Sat in the pocket with great patience, saw there was nobody open. Instead of throwing it away, realized there was a little bit of a seam there, took a chance, and had a nose for the end zone. Impressive drive against the win. Yes. That's very important. Very good point. C.W. Hurst on for the extra point. Thirty of thirty-one this year. Well, Matt Newton, the quarterback, his fourth rushing touchdown of the season to cap off a nine-play, eighty-yard drive. Steve Fairchild has to be very happy with the development of this young quarterback. I can't, I can't begin to tell you how much he's improved. Look at the patience in the pocket. We mentioned he had a nice job of improvising, and you get. Hit. Matt Newton is not a guy that has tremendous speed. For, for him to be able to find that seam, make a move, and get in there is very impressive. 23 times Colorado State's been inside the red zone now. 21 scores and 17 touchdowns. That's impressive. Well, every time we see a team that struggles in the red zone, why is it? They can't run the ball, power running. Well, as you said, Lee, the threat of McDougal gives them the advantage to score touchdowns. 80 yards, nine plays over four minutes into the win as, as Lee mentioned it's going to be a, a drive that they're going to possibly look back at late in this game and really be thankful they were able to move the ball into that brisk win well the fans have arrived late and understandably so with winds at uh, 20 25 miles per hour and higher gusts why would you sit in the stands and wait for the game to start and because of the limited access roads into Hughes Stadium there is still a long stream of cars coming in from all angles CW Hurst picking to Scott McKay and Leotis Palmer into the wind a beautiful pick and McKay can just take a knee Drive will start from the 20 yard line. ESPN's first and 10 is presented by AMD Athlon Processor. Needing to get to the 30 for a first down, the Air Force offense takes the field behind Mike Thiessen. It was Kale Bonds, the senior who had this team going, was injured at Colorado State. Thiessen came on, a couple of 100 yard running performances individually, snatching the job away this week. First down run to the fullback, and Scott Becker has very little room to run. Who, uh, Tuatelli made the play. Say that a lot tonight. Mission that crowd coming in, and they're, you know, they're right now close to capacity, and they're, they're still, they're still rolling in. There you go. It's unbelievable. Got a little traffic report for us here. Over here is the rodeo. <laughs> just, just missed, <laughs> missed it. Just missed it. <laughs> Rodeo, they nice, nice. Uh, we were pulling it earlier today. The cattle were out there looking good. The last time we were here, they had more people at the rodeo than they did in the stadium. Remember not, that? Not this time. Not <laughs> this time. Colorado State, in front of its nine biggest crowds in school history, is one and eight. The pitch was late and set up to get knocked down was Willows. Terrence Gibson took the opportunity. Pitch fooled no one. Now bring up third and ten for Air Force. That's perfectly defended there by Colorado State. Yet Mark Hagan's a defensive end come down on the on the dive. Quarterback took it up to the next level. And Gibson got off the block and came up to take the pitch. Perfect execution defensively. Watching the tapes, they like to throw back on third down situations. Quarterback draw for Thiessen, needing to get to the 30. Oh, he's a great runner. You can see the moves he made. Mike Thiessen, 35 yards to the Colorado State 45. 
Thiessen is an incredible athlete. He plays shortstop for the Air Force baseball team. He, he, is, he has tremendous athletic ability right here early. He knows exactly what he's going to do. He sees the seam. He's going to be able to pick it up and take off. Once he cuts into the open field, look at the move on Tuatelli. Now he realizes he still doesn't have the first down. Now he gets across. Now he's thinking, I'm not going to go out of bounds. I want, I want big yards. The thing we talked about before, remember, Fisher DeBerry says the reason why he likes it, he's a halfback disguised in a quarterback position. Excellent runner. After the pickup of 35, they'll scrimmage from the CSU. 45. There's two yards for the fullback. Scott Becker, one thing they have in this team this year is depth at the fullback spot. You know that guy's going to take a pounding every play. It's nice to have depth if you're running in the fishbowl. They mix in three different fullbacks, and it's one of these things that when you have a, an option attack, you rely heavily on the fullback. If, as Fisher DeBerry, as an offensive coordinator for Air Force, it feels very, very good to know you're going to rotate a, a different guy in there. Keep him fresh. Wade, the junior, gets his first carry. Stopped at the 36, but he powered forward, took Hagens and Olsen to the 35. That could be a first down. While they check it, hey, the good fans in New Orleans will be ready for Sunday Night Football. Ricky Williams and the Saints take on the best in the NFL from a record standpoint. The Jacksonville Jaguars, ABC's Monday Night Football, brings the Raiders down I-25 from here to Denver to take on the Broncos at Mile High. ABC and ESPN, your exclusive home for the National Football League in prime time. You guys see where Mike Dick is going to the I formation now with Ricky Williams, mm -hmm. putting a guy in front of him, a smart move. That's what he did so well at Texas. Why not do it in the National Football League? Why not do it in game one? Yeah, well, because you know why? What? Because probably no one else thought about it, and Dick probably took over the offense, as you know, two weeks ago, and said, forget about it. You guys, there's a spot on the Sunday show, Sunday NFL Counter. We have two hours Sunday and Monday. We can squeeze a mystery guest in, perhaps, if you'd like to join us, guys. <laughs> uh, they picked up the first down, as you saw, by half the football. Deason's third down run, keeping this drive alive. First pass of the night for Air Force. No, 13th run of the night for Air Force. Deason hogtied by Lucas Smith after six yards. Here's Dr. Jerry Punt. Guys, starting defensive tackle for Colorado State, Jamie Bennett, the junior out of Cleveland, Ohio, left ankle. They brought him over to the bench. They're going to try to spat the ankle, try to get him back on the play field. They can. He turned the ankle about uh, two series ago, about, about two plays ago, I should say, but uh, he's having trouble putting weight on it. Uh, he may or may not get back in. It looks pretty significant. That's why Lucas Smith was in there. He's the backup to Bennett and made the play. Well, that will be the final play of the first quarter as time expires. Well, Air Force will now head into the win, but they've got the ground game. Decent kept the drive alive. Air Force trying to retake the lead. Which sports center do you watch? Now at 6 p.m. only on ESPN. It's here. The Hot Rebel 2000. Soar past simple snapshots and roar into photography. Three, two, one, go! Nasty. Rebel 2000 from Canon. The idea is discipline, the purpose is performance, the name is AIM. What turns an ordinary beer glass into something special? A light beer that's brewed with the finest two-row barley and imported hops. One that has a remarkably smooth, satisfying taste that you won't find in an ordinary light beer. In short, what kind of beer makes a glass like this special? One that really fits the glass. Beer or Michelob Light. Start your day with Lycos.com. 
your home base for everything from fast searches to one-stop shopping. You can get whatever it is in the world you want from the World Wide Web. Lycos. Go get it. Hello? Server? Got it. Total participation, and this means everyone, all working to make sure you get the absolute best experience possible. Mr. Thurber, you're all set. Introducing Five Star, a new approach to selling and servicing cars and trucks. That's better. We'll prove it. Only where you see these signs. Hey, Dr. Ye. Dr. Ye. Uh, have you ever used one of those shampoos and conditioners all in the same bottle? Uh, yes, I have. What do you think of it? I like it. That's yeah, I use it. You have one in your, uh... Yeah, I got it right here. Th that's the one I use. I like it. Well, we are set to start the second quarter here in Fort Collins. Somebody once told me, Craig, uh, Kirk, if you're going to come to a game, make sure you're there by yep. face-off or kickoff. Yeah, get there, get there early. This, this looks like a uh, field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. Hey, look at that. Lee Corso, you were that person's hero back there. Oh, that's nice. They, obviously, they haven't watched college game day. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't had to pick against the Edmund Colorado State all year. We come back to second and four. Another run. It is Scott Becker, the fullback. You see Becker at the first and ten line. He'll be very close to a first down. On well, the first 15 minutes, as you would expect, nothing in the air for Air Force or for Colorado State. Pretty balanced, really. Impressive is that Matt Newton took him the length of the field there against the wind throwing the football. And the best runner on a football field is Mike Thiessen, the quarterback for the he Air Force. Looks, he looks good tonight. He is he's very, very, about, very good runner. Talked about him in the open asserting himself yeah. in this offense, gaining more and more confidence. Gets better each week. Thiessen has 46 rushing yards on third and short. No advance to James. Simply done by the fullback Scott Becker. Well, they are among the nation's leader in rushing every year. They do the same thing, variations of it a few years ago, but why can't teams effectively shut down Air Force's rushing attack? Well, it's because you don't see it every week. You know, we, we talked yesterday with the Air Force coaches and with Colorado State coaches, and it, it's the fact that you only have a few days to prepare for it. It's tough to simulate that look, the speed of it, the execution. All of a sudden, you get out in the game, and it's, it's, it's going much quicker than what you anticipated as a defensive player. From the 23, this is first down. Thiessen got away from the would-be tackler and made a three-yard loss, a five-yard gain. Greg Pollard was sitting and waiting to pounce, and Thiessen got away. You need a good running quarterback to run this offense, and the service academies are the ones who are using it, as you see. Air Force up there with Navy, Army and Navy, the top three in rushing leaders in the country. The difference is Air Force can play defense, and Army and Navy can't, and that's why they're losing. Air Force runs it and plays defense. Air Force also has a little bit more of a threat of the passing game. That's why they're right now at the top as far as the service academies are concerned. Army three and six right now, Navy four and six. Another carry for Scott Becker, and the fullback is continuing to move Colorado State defenders and the chains. You mentioned why is it so tough to stop it. It's also the diversity. You, as a defense, you don't see it very often. It's tough to prepare for the execution and the speed of it. And then you, you go against everything you teach as a defensive staff because you, it's assignment football. You have the fullback. You have the halfback. You have the quarterback. Here, the leg drive and the running ability. Here to the inside by Air Force number 44, Scott Becker. I mean, it, this is something that's very, very difficult to prepare for. With decent at quarterback, it'll be impossible to stop. First and goal. The give is to Chris Wade. Mike McKenzie shut him down for a yard or so. Once again, here's Doc Punch. Guys, we're talking to some of the Air Force players in the hotel today. I asked them about stopping the option. So if you want to see how to stop the option, watch the service academies play each other. How do they stop each other when they try to run the option? And the best way to stop it, really, you talk about a middle linebacker or a defensive end, but see what Notre Dame did to Air Force a few years ago. They put a, a nose guard right on the center, and they popped the center. If you can push that center back a yard, a yard and a half, when he snaps the ball, he's right on top of the quarterback. The quarterback can't get any separation. The dive back can't do what he needs to do. He basically has neutralized the triple option. See how Colorado State handles it on the 12th play of the drive. Thiessen keeping. Nice play from behind to pull him down. Clark Hagens 
the sack leading senior. Higgins is so quick, 6'4", 255. Watch him come down and close. He's on a stunt to stop the fullback. He goes all the way across Kirk and stops that great runner. Nice quickness for a guy that big, boy. Well, he came across in the penetration for big. He's known for his ability to sack quarterbacks in the Mountain West who drop back to pass. But here tonight, early in the game, he's starting to see that he also could do some damage to this triple option. They try to run away from him. I would run right out. We talked about today, didn't we? Here's third and goal for the Air Force Academy. Get it in the hands of Scotty McKay. And Mike McKenzie was waiting for him. goal coming up. Well, it's interesting to me to play calls. My man, Mike Thiessen, did not run the football once. That's my man now. He's going to be your man in pre-show, but okay. now he's my man. Okay. He did not run the ball once. And when you got a guy like that, you got to find a way, Mike, to get the ball in his hands. <laughs> Jackson Whiting comes on for the field goal, 11 of 11 this year. You can borrow my man for a drive. The left-footed kicker. From 24 yards is plenty good. So nobody in the nation's as good as 12 for 12. Sonny Lubick's defense did hang around and limited Air Force to just three. Hey guys, what you ordering? Same as last week. Three extra long chili cheese conies, add jalapenos, hold the chili with ketchup and onions. Whoa, she's good. I know what my customers like. One of a kind stuff like our extra long coney, topped with chili and lots of cheddar cheese. Get one now with Sonic's famous tater top for a special low price. Sonic America's driving. Try our new apple pie shake. Tastes just like homemade apple pie. Welcome to OnSale.com. Going sideways. Folks, this is the Cyberbaiter. It guides you through the computer store inside your computer. 11th floor, where the biggest computer brands are always on sale. Virtually speaking. Going diagonal, auctions hard to find items, and the love lounge? Whoops. <laughs> Someone's mouse is wandering. Remember, at OnSale.com, we're computer focused. In his professional football debut, this rookie quarterback completed only one of eight passes for 14 yards. That season, his quarterback rating was 54.9, the absolute worst in the conference. Defeated and dejected, he considered quitting football. Lucky for Denver, he reconsidered. Expect more from an original. Original Coors, brewed a mile high. My beer, Coors, an original Coors. No multi-million dollar contracts. No victory laps. Not even a winner's circle. But if you think these weekend warriors who run the SCORE Desert Championship Series take anything for granted, think again. Which is exactly why they run with the Duralast battery from AutoZone. A battery so tough, so dependable, we back it with a two-year free replacement guarantee. The next time you hit the road, don't settle for anything less. ESPN's presentation of Thursday Night Primetime College Football is brought to you by Cold Refreshing Zima. Zima, a few degrees cooler. And by the more than 2,700 AutoZone stores across America. AutoZone, the best parts in auto parts. The square in Old Town Fort Collins, in case you were wondering, geese are indigenous to this area. Mike Tirico, Lee Corso, Kirk Hope Street. Glad to be in Fort Collins on this Thursday night in the Mountain West. Remember, the stakes are high. Other than this being a rivalry, both teams are 6-3, and three, and the winner keeps Cole Hopes alive. The loser is done. Have touched the end zone, and the college rules, once it makes contact with the end zone, it becomes a touchback. Well, here's our Aflac trivia question for the night. How many Air Force quarterbacks have thrown for 200 or more yards in a game this decade? Air Force quarterback throwing for over 200 in a game this decade. How many times has it happened? It's our Aflac trivia question, which the hmm. gentleman will take a shot at a little bit later on in the show. 
this week we didn't let you guys anywhere near the question. That's right. It's not how many quarterbacks. One guy could go two or three times, right? So it's how many yes. times? Yes. How many quarterbacks? No, no. This is ridiculous. It's a trivia question for goodness sakes. Newton sets up the screen for McDougal, who got a nice block. And Kevin McDougal running hard for 16 yards to the 36. He's finally healthy and looks it. Matt Newton dropping back. Once he gets back to into the pocket, he's going to try to look off of his of his running back, Kevin McDougal. McDougal comes off to the outside. Now he's got some blockers. Once he picks up momentum and speed, he's tough to bring down with that first hit. Another first down there for Kevin McDougal. It's Sapahia, number 61, the right tackle. I've been waiting to say his name for three weeks. Sapahia makes a good block on that screenplay. Wayne, the senior from Oxnard, California. First and 10 for the 36. McDougal bounces outside for a couple of yards. Well, one of the advantages of having Colorado State three times is visiting with Sonny Lubick, but also Lee, you get you know, three weeks to work on these games like <laughs> Sapahia. Zappa, he is my favorite because he's 6'3", 310 pounds, and he can run. He's made great plays every time we've seen him, Kirk, on either screens or some kind of toss play where he leads the guy out there. Has good speed. He Last yeah. time we were here against Utah, he got to the outside. That's right. Guy has a chance to play at the next level. Senior on senior night here in Fort Collins. Newton's first down pass. Rice couldn't shake free and got two to 40. About three yards for Frank Rice, the junior. This is a quick screen where the quarterback will start one way and throw it out. And Sapahia is responsible to come out and watch him. Nice play, Sapahia. Get out there. Oh, that's a knockout. Nice, <laughs> God. If that guy saw Sapahia coming, he went right to the turf, boy. That was the exact play we talked it's about that right. opened up against Utah where he was able to block that cornerback out. Tony Jones. The weak side corner out of Columbia, South Carolina, saw Blaine coming at him. Third and six. Newton's had a good night. Five of seven throwing. Intercepted. The good night goes away. Matt Palmer, the junior from Boulder, the team's top tackler, gets his second interception of the season. Flag came down. Holding. Office. The penalties refused. First down. And is wiped away. Number 87 is going to come in motion right here. Joey Capari. Once he gets off field, you can see that Matt Newton is trying to evaluate between McDougal and Capari. And in between, he has Palmer. That's his read. Palmer's going to not even hesitate. He starts to run, does a nice job of turning back and making the interception. After his second, second interception of the season, Air Force gets the ball in Colorado State territory. The pitch is to Rillis. Matt stepped out of bounds. Kirk, can I come back to that play for a second? If you're a quarterback and you don't see the linebacker's head turned around, does that give you a sign, hey, maybe I can squeeze it in because he may not get himself turned around and make an interception? Quarterbacks with a big arm like Matt Newton, they have a lot of confidence. They believe they can always squeeze it in. But in that case, where Palmer is turning and running, you have to be able to evaluate that and maybe dump it underneath. But if you saw there was a tough decision because the other inside linebacker was up tight. So he, I think that was a good decision by Newton. I just don't think he expected Palmer to turn around the way he did. Great play by Palmer. Remember, Richard Bell, the defensive coordinator, said that Palmer was his quickest linebacker. That's why he got back there. He did. Nothing on second and seven. Third down coming up. Before that, let's remind you about the ESPN2 college football lineup. Number two, Virginia Tech. Remember, Temple got him last year. Beware in Philly this week. And then a great SEC doubleheader, Georgia Ole Miss. Mississippi State taking on Arkansas. That's our lineup on ESPN2. ESPN, your home for Bowl Week. Virginia Tech's only concern would have to be heading into a veteran stadium where, you, you know, you get 3,500 to 4,000. Honestly, it can lull you to sleep. Forget about it. Well, well don't say, don't yeah. win. But. You see Ula Tuatelli, who's very important to this team because of what they're doing and emotionally. He's down and hurt the senior. Injured on that play up the middle. Top tackler on this Colorado State team. 
We mentioned the linebacking youth with Rick Kroll lost already for Sonny Lubick, and now he watches his middle linebacker, the senior Tuatelli, down on the field. We'll check the injury to Ula when we come back to Fort Collins. Does this sound familiar? Directory assistance. What city and state? I think Arlington. Or, or wait, maybe it's Alexandria. What listing? Wait, <laughs> I, I, but I haven't given you the city yet. Don't you just hate talking to machines? Please hold. Wait, hold. <laughs> I, you don't even know what to look for. Why talk to machines? Get real help. Dial 1010-9000 and our friendly operators will help you find the number. Even dial it with no connection charge. 1010-9000. Directory assistance made easy. As you might expect, Teller and I don't see eye to eye on investing. I like to avoid risk. Teller's a little more daring. We do, however, share the same new way to trade online. Introducing Power Street by Fidelity, the first site with trading tools customized by Lycos to fit your unique way of doing things. Look, the market's up, or in your case, down. Power Street Online Trading. To find out how you could win free trades for life, visit Fidelity.com. Are you ready for the drive of your life? The high octane ride of the season. If you only drive one game this year, make it Test Drive 6. Test Drive 6, Fall 99. The Mississippi State defense going up against the diversified Arkansas offense. Who will be standing last? Mississippi State, Arkansas at 9, Saturday on ESPN2. Well, Ula Tuatelli, who was down, was helped off the field, but not putting much pressure on his leg. We'll keep an eye on the injury. Sonny Lubick's team now with three freshmen in the linebacking core against this tough-to-stop complex Air Force offense. It's third and four, and Thiessen, the quarterback, gets popped right at the line. Looks like he'll be a yard short. John Howell, the safety, came up to make the play. An interesting call here by Air Force. You mentioned the, free fr the three freshmen at the linebacking position. You, you have to think, if that continues, and Tuatelli has to stay on the sideline, that Fisher to Barry is going to come up with a way to attack that, make some adjustments, and go after that, that youth at the linebacker position. Going to go for it here on fourth and short. Quarterback speed. Thiessen assesses, adjusts, and a devastating false start will force them to punt. You know why that happened? The quarterback comes up and starts calling a complicated automatic system with fourth and an inch. Get the ball to the quarterback sneak and watch the right guard now. Paul Townsend. Paul Townsend. Watch him. See, the quarterback was given all that stuff about red 46. I see this. Right. Forget about it. Uh, when we sat down with Fisher to Barry, I couldn't even get the question uh, out. Are you, have you been happy with your offense before he said right away, no. We've self-destructed this year. We don't have a lot of penalties. We've had critical penalties and costly turnovers. There again, the offense making that, that critical penalty. But that was caused by the coaching staff going to an automatic system with fourth and an inch. So Scott Grabham kicks now to the nation's fifth leading return man in Dallas Davis. Obviously try to keep it away from Davis. Oh, beautiful job by Grabham. It will be out of bounds at the two. The 14th time in 50 kicks that the senior has pinned his team in. Ula Tuatelli was hurt on that drive. Still, the Colorado State defense came up with the hole, but the punter for Air Force, Griven, has given Colorado State 98 yards of field to work with. In deep, the table. And this team is well served by Chris Ford. Thank you. 
Chevrolet brings you hours of outstanding college football on ESPN. Hungry for victory, these teams will dazzle you with a season of raw power as they fight to be number one. This year, you'll see the hottest games featuring many of the season's top teams. NCAA football on ESPN is brought to you in part by the Chevy Astro. Like you, Astro plays to win, so climb aboard. After all, any family that plays as hard as yours deserves a comfortable ride home. Chevy Astro, the only van tough enough to handle childhood. The following is brought to you by Hoops Malone. It's our our time. It's run and rip, baby. First up, some of the top teams in the nation hit the hardwood for the preseason NIT at 7 and 11.30. At 9, the General sent sharpshooter A.J. Guyton into action when the Hoosiers rumble with the Red Raiders. The preseason NIT at 7 and Indiana Texas Tech at 9 on ESPN, followed by more NIT action at 11.30 on ESPN2 tomorrow. Nobody does hoops like ESPN and ESPN2. There is Ula Tuatelli, who's been trying to see if he can go on that leg injury. Dr. Jerry Punch will update us momentarily. After the great punt by Air Force, Colorado State wind at its back, leading by one. 97 yards of field to go. And a big opening for McDougal with a blocker leading him. Still on his feet. Six yards. Longest run of the year for McDougal. Uh, one of the things we talked about was Kevin McDougal's ability to run, but also his cutback ability. Remember, he starts it right, makes a good block, comes down, and this is what I like most about this kid. Watch him, Kirk. He's using his blocker very well, isn't he? Did a good job in the open field here. You, you have to give a little bit of credit there to number 10. Small because of the, the way he was able to fight off the, uh, the lead blocker there. Yeah, David, Davis. Sh David showing the right guard made a perfect block on that play. <laughs> good sign. 66 yards equals the long run of McDougal's career that he had in 1997. Rashawn Sanders comes in to give him a break, and the freshman out of San Diego picks up only a yard. Craig Forstenson on the tackle. The run that got them out of there deep in their own territory. The offensive line, it's an in inside zone scheme. Lee, you mentioned David Shaw at number 60. Watch him, what he's able to do here in sealing that linebacker. It allows McDougal to cut back, and when the safety came up to try to make the big hit, Wes Glisson, it takes one guy to miss, and then McDougal's out of there, and that was a big play. Good job again up front by the line. Remember, he scored on a 56-yard touchdown against Colorado, so he's got good speed. Second down, Newton, a deep drop. Two McDougals back in the game. Picked up about eight. Did a nice job. Gave him some time to throw. Jerry Punch on the injury to Tuatelli. Guys, good news from the Colorado State sidelines. A very, very mild, maybe grade one, medial collateral sprain to the left knee. Ula Tuatelli should be back in. His right knee was the one they had scoped early in the year. He's up, walking around. Should be back in on the next defensive series. That's great news for the Colorado State fans. If you weren't with us earlier, their H backcourt, Wolston Hume, suffered a neck injury although he had just some tingling in one arm some numbness other than that he had feeling in other extremities and was conscious was taken off by stretcher Newton takes a break will step out as well CSU driving thanks to the long run by McDougal this is a real mom and pop hardware store I think we have a nice family feel of months ago we got a little bump in our car well we've been with our state farm agent for 26 years because i think he puts his personal self into it just like we do at the hardware store he actually listens to what your needs are it makes me feel pretty important get to know your state farm agent you can't put a price on a good relationship i expect a lot of my family i expect joe to get heartburn Tony to get nausea, and Sarah indigestion at the mere sight of food. Instead, Joe would get indigestion, Tony diarrhea, and I'd end up with heartburn. I just keep first aid handy at all times. Pepto-Bismol relieves more stomach problems than any of these other leading medicines. I expect the unexpected. Pepto-Bismol, first aid for heartburn, diarrhea, nausea, indigestion, and upset stomachs. 
this impressive panorama was shot with the miraculous little elf. The new Elf 2, the two-time zoom camera that's the world's smallest. Have you seen all the elves? Only from Canon. Now get the Wall Street Journal delivered for 13 weeks at just 57 cents a day, a 25% savings. Call now, 800-854-2200. That's 800-854-2200 for the Wall Street Journal. time the Aflac trivia question answer how many Air Force quarterbacks have thrown for 200 or more yards in a game this decade guess gentlemen Kurt three I'd say one Bo Morgan you're kidding me no none <laughs> trick question sweetheart D Dallas in Wait a 1989. Minute. You, didn't, you didn't ask me if that was my last <laughs> my last choice you're Regis Filbert where are you when I need you you know what Regis is being seen by a couple of more people than the three of us right now <laughs> He's got no time for you. Third and two, Redstock the receiver. Looking for the home run punch for Redstock. Great adjustment! Touchdown! You take the receiver, I take the back. He threw the interception one drive earlier. This time with the wind at his back, Newton gives CSU a bigger lead. C.W. Hurst, the junior from Sherman, Texas, adds his 31st extra point of the year, second of the night. 97-yard drive, capped off by Redstock. Third touchdown of the year. Well, Redstock made it happen with the adjustment in the air to be able to go up and make the acrobatic catch. You can see with Coach Fairchild, the offensive coordinator was trying to go with a hitch and go, try to get the corner and the safety to bite up. Simply at that point, after the fake, he just put the ball in the air in the corner away from the defender, and again, Repstock makes the catch. The reason why he makes that catch is Tony Jones, number 20, the defensive back, doesn't go for the ball. He waits for it. He's got to go for the ball like a receiver in that situation, and maybe he gets a piece of it. I, I don't think he saw the ball. That's probably why I couldn't react. And a big one for Matt Newton after throwing the interception earlier and giving Air Force the ball in Colorado State territory. Bounces right back. Good numbers on the night for Newton. Went the length of the field on that drive in a minute 49, thanks in large part to the 66-yard run from Kevin McDougal. We talked about it at the beginning of the show. If McDougal runs the football, then Colorado State can play action and throw the ball. And he's been running the ball very well so far. The most impressive thing besides McDougal for the Rams tonight has been Matt Newton's presence. You can see he is a confident quarterback right now as opposed to when we saw him earlier in the year still feeling his way. He's gaining more and more confidence as this year has gone on. After its longest touchdown drive of the lead, a touchback. Air Force will take over from its own 20. On this cool night here in uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, I'm very impressed with the way Colorado State has taken a couple of adversity situations and kept going and maintained the lead. Starting with McDougal, 7 for 83 rushes. And here's the thing I like about him now for the next level. Two catches for 24 yards. If he's going to play in the National Football League, he's got to catch it. Well, how about the balance? Ten throws, ten runs for Colorado State. Good. They've had balance throughout this year, and early in this game, that's been the key to their success. Well, Air Force yet to throw the ball. They had one pass play call that became a quarterback scramble. The 24th run of the night. Thiessen should be a first down just across the 30-yard line. The thing that impresses me about Thiessen is he's gotten a little quickness to him. And maybe that's why he's such a good baseball player the shortstop. Watch him come down the line. He's reading out. Now watch. Boop. Right there is what I like, Kirk. The fact that he's got a little quickness to him. See, what I like is when he makes the turn, he's thinking, I'm keeping this football. As an option quarterback, that's what you want. A guy that wants to keep the ball in his hands, forces the defense to take him away, and then makes him deal it. Pushing 100 rushing yards already. Not much for Nathan Beard, the junior out of Grand Junction, Colorado. An opportunity to remind you, Ohio State, Michigan. The records mean nothing. One of the great rivalries in all of sport. Live across the country at noon Eastern on ABC, the doubleheader continues with Penn State, Michigan State, or UCLA, 
USC. All from ABC Sports, a doubleheader from the home of the Bowl Championship Series. Coming up this weekend. Here's Kevin McDougal. We equaled his career long run on that last drive. Second and seven deflection is nearly intercepted by Mike McKenzie. The junior out of Miami, Florida, was looking at a dream twirling in the air. He couldn't come down with the defensive lineman interception. I think it was Chad McGuckin who was in there defensively to cause the interception opportunity. Got his hand up and deflected it, and once he did, the defensive lineman, that's a dream come true. You have the ball there, just all you gotta do is, your hands are taped, you have pads on there, you gotta wrap up and make the catch. That was their first pass attempt of the night, nearly turned into disaster. Will Air Force go to the air again? First down. Thiessen's trying to do it alone right now. Keep your eye on Mike McKenzie, number 76, coming from the inside. He's made three great plays in a row. Now, you might wonder why a guy from Miami, Florida, would come to Fort Collins. The reason is Sonny Lubeck coached at Miami and still has a lot of friends there who re recommend guys like McKenzie right there. If they can keep Air Force in third and six plus, Colorado State's chances are very, very good tonight of stopping that, uh, that option attack. Chances good when Dallas Davis is back to return kicks. Robbins trying to kick it to the sidelines, give Davis no room to run. That's a violation. Oh, there you are. There he is. And the flag is down. Old Kirk's play right there. there he talk about it, Kirk. Tell us about well, it. Well, we, uh, we get the halo violation. We get it a couple Tell times. Us. What happens is that receiver's back there. I want it one time. You're, you're going to be the receiver, right? You're going to come down. Scooter one time, baby. No, one no, time. Right there. But, but <laughs> two, you get two yards. Get away from me. Get two yards right here. Get away from me. And everybody seems to get in here. Yeah. But see, what gets me upset is when they get blocked yeah. into it. One time, baby. One time with the forearm. Easy, sweetheart. Easy. Do we need to separate you two? You're obviously much tougher than I am. I'm freezing here with a jacket. Catch interference against the kickers. Five yards from the spot of the foul. First down. The old guy's just got a sweater on. He's much tougher than we are. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Oh. Dr. Jerry Punch, please save us. Hey, guys, uh, there were four preseason Buckus Award candidates in the Mountain West Conference, and my Colorado State had one guy, outside linebacker, Rick Kroll. And, Rick, this was the kind of night you dream about playing as an outside linebacker when you play a running team like Air Force. Almost well, certainly. It's any linebacker's dream, and, you know, it's just unfortunate I can't be out there, but, you know, everyone's doing the job. Your best friend on this football team and roommate is Ula Tuatelli. When you went down against New Mexico State, he was going to honor you in a very, very special way each day of practice. Oh, yeah. Well, he won my jersey, you know, as you can see right there. And, uh, you know, it means a lot to me. And, you know, he's, he's my best friend, my best roommate. I mean, hey, uh, it's, it's a big tribute to me. Ula is, normally wears number 42. He wore your number six at practice. Now, what is the basic uh, emphasis on how do you shut down the fishbowl, this option attack at the airport? You guys are doing a pretty good job, but you're doing it with a sign of the football, right? Almost every, you gotta uh, be disciplined for one. You know, get off the cut blocks that they, you know, they cut all the time and just make the tackle. I know you're a little bit concerned when Ula went down a little bit ago. The good news is he's gonna be coming back in very, very soon. Uh, hey, thanks for joining us and, and have a great senior night. We're sorry we couldn't see you play. Thank you very much. Rick Kroll, guys, a Buckus Award candidate for the Colorado State Rams. He had a touchdown in the big win against Colorado where McDougal certainly was a shining star for the Rams. That game played in Denver. McDougal going out on senior night in grand style. He's had two rushes on this drive for seven yards. Now it's third and three. First down strike to Dallas Davis to the 44-yard line. He has arm strength and showed it there. Ten yards. Newton continuing a good night. Newton right away looking off to his left. When, I, when he steps and throws, he can throw the ball with a lot of velocity. That is the key. Right away, he saw the cushion that he wanted. Unbelievable that Air Force would give him 10 yards off the line of scrimmage, especially with a talented wide receiver like Dallas Davis. But that's what Kurt Duffy decided to do along with number 20, Jones. First and 10. 
late for Redstock, who was running out of real estate. Let's check in with Chris Fowler, see what's coming up at halftime. Chris? Mike, coming up with the original Coors halftime report, Mike and Ryde will break down some game plan aspects of the big game, which outside of the Bay Area means the Knowles and the Gators. We'll also talk about that Cal-Stanford game on Rivalry Weekend and on hidden video. We'll see a crime captured on videotape. Trust me, you'll want to stick around. <laughs> All right, Chris, see you at halftime. And promises a crime at the break. The Falcons are down eight with 2.40 left before the half. Leon Smith in motion. Like a throw for Newton to Redstock. Caught the touchdown earlier. But kills himself across the first and ten line but lost the ball. Rams think they got it back. And you know who got it? Your boy. Sapahia. Number 61 out there. Look at him. And a boy Sapahia. He wants to keep the ball. Number 61, <laughs> Blaine Sapahia is coming out the block, and all of a sudden you'll watch him. He's alert for 310 pounds. Watch that agility, huh, Kirk? What? Get in there. Quick oh. as a cat. Quick as a cat. Oh, quick as a there. cat. But Kirk, once again, trying to get him out there in the open field. By the time I finish with him, Sapahia will be a award winner, Lombardi Trophy or something. Kirk Duffy caused the fumble for Air Force. Did a nice job too. Newt. Frank Rice was battling Duffy. Rice looks to be shaken up on the play for a moment. Let's go back to Jerry. Hey, Coach, Lee Corso. Blaine Sapaia has a dream. It's seniors night, and his dream is to catch a pass for a touchdown. And believe me, keep your eyes on Sapaia. The night is young yet. Jerry must know something that we don't know. Jerry knows a but lot you know of what? we don't know. I don't think you can throw tackle eligibles anymore, right? No, they can't. You can't throw to a guy with 61. Sure you can. No, you can't. You got to do is declare him. Well, he well, got to declare him eligible. By that time, everybody jumps on him. No, that's not, not Anthony Munoz. He had a few times. He's one of the best. That's in the old days, the new rules. Well, there is the injury to Frank Rice, who, as we mentioned, <laughs> responsible for three touchdowns. Last time Colorado State played, Colorado State had this past Saturday off. Meantime, Air Force is playing on a short week. They've done that often this year. In part because it's very hard when you schedule Army and Navy within the conference window, once you get past those first three or four weeks of the season, and then you're still trying to play your conference schedule at the same time, it becomes very difficult for conference scheduling. Thus, Air Force has had to play now for the fifth time against somebody who had a bye week before them. Newton's throw is caught by Kupari. Joey Kupari to the 15-yard line. A little zip on that 28-yarder, huh? <laughs> Offensive line doing a great job of giving Matt Newton protection. We've talked about it all evening long. When you give him time to throw, he can throw the football very accurately and with a lot of velocity. There, once again, they're going to attack the inside with the zone defense. They're going to come to the inside. Kapari's been coming on the last couple weeks as a talented wide receiver. But I also like the fact that Kevin McDougal got a cut block, which will help him in the next level. you got to block, catch, and run to play in the National Football League. And so far, he's done all three tonight. Colorado State looking for a big advantage on Air Force here. Leading by eight from the 15. McDougal delivers the blow and gets down to the seven. Shoulder down, get out of my way. As we watch Kevin McDougal, number 36, his responsibility is to block from the inside out, and you'll notice there's a linebacker come from the outside. He cut blocks him, grabs him by the leg, which is not a bad move. Not great for him, but, but not, nonetheless, not, he did a job. But when he runs the football, Kirk, watch his low center, watch his, watch his. Boom! Remember, all he needed was 149 yards to get over 1,000 tonight. He has 97. He's used as a decoy here. Newton will keep it, get a yard inside of 50 seconds. Let's see if Colorado State stops the clock here. And they will. At 46.